Okay, this how-to video is going to go through how to use the chip on board functionality inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So um, there's a few options for this. Uh, we'll start off with uh, with pad stack editor. So when you're defining pad stacks, you have the option to choose a bond finger or a die pad. Um, bond finger is obviously for the connection point, the die pad for the chip on board devices themselves. Um, so you can actually define specific pad stacks uh, for these two options. Um, you would obviously do the design layers, the mask layers, etc., as you would do normally. Once we've got those, um, when you're then looking at your PCB footprint, um, when we do layout pins, we actually have the choice of choosing a bond pad. So if I look at the options pane when I do layout pins, I can choose a bond pad and then that will give me the specific bond pad. And what that will do is that will actually place this on the bond top layer. So let's just set the color here just so you can see that a bit more. You can see obviously that's the bond layer rather than the top of the board. This is actually the bond layer of the, the device that you're using. When we then get to the actual uh, PCB itself, so you can see obviously this is the, my top of the board. If we just do a quick comparison of the colors, the top of the board is green. I've got this bond top layer. So let's just make that purple so you can see that. So there's the, the bond type layers. Now to physically make connections, what I need to do is I can use the... Uh, I can either go into the, to the wire bond edit mode, so application modes, we've got the wire bond edit, which I can get from obviously the drop down menu here. I've got the, the icons along here, or we can go to setup, application mode, and wire bond edit. Um, if, or I can also do from the root menu, wire bond, and then we've got the add, the settings, etc. So look at the settings. This would be the pad stack that's used to be placed on the PCB. I can obviously align that with the wire. I can uh, do it orthogonal to the die side. Um, I can actually do some settings for the for the die side itself, put uh, die numbers, sorting, etc., like that. So um, once I've got all that defined, root, wire bond, and then add, I can then click on one of the pins, and you can see what I do is I get this this kind of wire bond location, and I can then go and place. We'll go and place. So very very quickly, I can then go and place these as I go round. So this is placing it physically on the board, and I can then make a connection to this point to wherever it goes on the main PCB. If we look at this in 3D canvas, we'll just zoom in here, you can see there's the bond, there's the wire going down to the pad on the PCB, so um, quite a useful feature there. Um, just to give you a little bit more information, if you actually go to the Cadence support site, so support.cadence.com, log in with your Cadence account, if you go to resources and rapid adoption kits, And if we come up here, we can actually do a search for chip on board. And then there's a how to implement chip on board technology using um, PCB editor. So if we select that, this is actually a, a work through. You can actually go through some examples. There's a there's a database you can you can go and download and have a go with. So 